Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ailey if you're new to today's video. I actually saw, I can't remember why, I think it popped up on like my homepage or something like that and I see these all the time and it was somebody comparing lash extensions to lash lift. So it gave me the idea to give out pro advice for both of these treatments to actually compare them and give out pro advice. I wanted to sort of try and comprehensively clear it up from somebody who is trained professionally in both lash lifts and lash extensions. Well, if you don't want to ruin your lashes, then just stay tuned. The comparison between lash lifts and lash extensions, there is, there's, there's actually not that many. Neither is better for your lashes, I will say that. Neither should ruin your lashes, neither should damage your lashes. It is, when done properly, they're both perfectly safe to do. So just want to put that out there. Lash extensions, proper lash extensions like professional ones, not cluster ones that you stick on yourself at home, you actually isolate. I'll see if I can pull up some photos from like the brand I use or something like that. But a lash lash extensions are when you isolate or when your practitioner practitioner when your technician isolates a single lash and she either she or he either applies a single lash or a fan with three, four, five, or even I think six lashes attached now. For a lash lift, you actually put a small silicon, well, it's in place of a rod, but it's a, a cushion on the eyelid and stick the eyelashes to it so that they're in a curl shape or it's a lifted shape. They're sort of straightened at the bottom and then curled up. And you basically perm them. Ever heard of a hair perm? it's exactly the same thing except it's suitable to be used around your eyes. That is the, that's what both of them are. So depending on what you want would be dependent on what you would get done. So lash lifts are no maintenance, like there's no work involved, there's just you get it done, you look after it for two days by keeping it dry or keeping it by keeping your lashes dry and away from steam and then you go back to your normal life, that is it. You can wear mascara, whatever you want to do. It is so low maintenance, I love it. We'll carry on down with lash lift at the moment. Last six to eight weeks because you have to let your lashes basically purge. So a lot of people that are saying that they've had their lashes permed for a long time and they can't get their lashes to recover, I, I don't understand it when people say that because your lashes do recover. Your lashes regrow every six to eight weeks. You lose three to five lashes a day, so you have new lashes so if your lashes are coming in damaged there's a bigger issue going on it with a lash lift you get it done every eight weeks no less if somebody processes your lashes and they don't lift you must never ever let them double process which means never let them just go oh we'll just try it again not for another eight weeks. It's like bleaching your hair. There's only a certain amount of times you can do it before your hair is going to fall out. I don't know how many people I have seen with lashes all bent over like this and all different, and they're just, it's fried. It's like, well, you're, I nearly missed the table there. That is over-processed lashes. I've seen it so many times, and it's like when you don't get a good lift, it's like they just try it again. I don't know how many times I've seen people getting it done more regularly, and that is why it damages your lashes. Okay because you need the new lashes. You can't double process lashes. You need the new lashes to, I mean, if your lashes turn over quicker than eight weeks and your lash tech can see that all of your new lashes are in, that's a different story. Ask your um, technician, what brand do you use? What is the perks of that brand? Have they got um, anything in it I might, I might be more prone to be allergic to? Anything that's irritating that you're maybe not allergic to, but might irritate you. So a lot of colors and things like that will do that. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Lash lifts are pretty standard. They are really, really simple. And as long as you know, do not do it more than every eight weeks, you're pretty sound. There isn't really anything too much you have to worry about. Just for those two days, just make sure that you really look after them. Make sure that you don't sleep on your face. Make sure that you don't squish them up against anything. Make sure that you don't get them wet. Make sure that you don't get them with steam. I think that's pretty much it. So, lash extensions. Okay. So lash extensions are a wee bit more complex. If you're thinking about getting lash extensions, make sure that you go to somebody who's qualified, who has lots of experience. It's not a biggie if somebody doesn't have experience because lashes are a learning curve. Don't pay full price, but you know, 
make sure that you're aware that they're training because I had to train at the end of the day. It took me over a year to get confident with lashes. With lash extensions you can get single, uh, single? Huh? You can get classic, half set, full set, but classic is one on one. You can get hybrid, which is some lashes that are one to one and some lashes that are fans. Then you can get volume, which is usually 3D, which is three lashes to one of your lash, 4D, 4 to 1, 5D, 5 to 1, 6D, 6 to 1. It's 5D and 6D are quite new as far as I'm aware anyway. The most common are 3D and 4D. Generally when you do fans, you're, it's really difficult to try and explain without taking a week to teach you how to do it. But basically the diameter of the lash, so if you were to take a strand of your hair and measure how thick it was, that's your diameter of your lash. So generally we'll use a 0 0.15, 0 0.10 um, for like a one to one lash. Now if you're gonna be doing volume lashes, it goes right down to like a 0 0.07, 0 0.05, you know, you get what I mean, like you're actually taking away quite a lot of girth from these lashes. Essentially what it is, is you don't wanna be putting too much weight on somebody's lash. So if you were to take three of the big chunky fellas and just throw them on, that's way too much weight for that lash. So that's when you see them drooping down, when you see them pulling out lashes, when you see them damaging lashes. So that's why you, what, why you want to go to somebody who knows what they're doing. I've only recently just started doing volume, so don't crucify me if some of this information, like the technical stuff is wrong, because like I say, I've only just started. Essentially what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to go to somebody and ask them questions. They shouldn't be offended if you ask questions. I love it when people ask me questions because it shows that they actually care about their lash health and stuff. With lashes, you it's the same thing. For two days normally, the lash brand I use now actually is 24 hours, but for two days you really have to look after your lashes. So if you get them done and you feel like they're uncomfortable in any way, go back to your lash tech and let them have a look because it can happen with anybody. One could be too close and it will aggravate you until the end of days. Like if you are crying your eyes out unintentionally because there's one little blighter that's sticking you in the eye, your lashes are gonna get wet and they're all gonna fall out and nobody's gonna be happy. So if you are finding that they are too, they feel tight, they feel scratchy, they feel stingy, itchy, anything, just a message to your lash tech. That's all you need to do. E most common misconception I think I see is people saying that they were allergic to them but they've changed brands or they've changed technicians or whatever. If there is something in the glue called, and excuse me if I say this wrong because it's a really difficult word to say, I'll put it on the screen, it's cyanacrylate and it is in every single lash glue. There is no lash glue that I know of on the planet that doesn't have this in it. So if you are allergic to this product, so if you've had an allergy to lashes in the past, you are allergic. If you have had a reaction to lashes in the past, make sure that you tell your lash technician that because you're gonna be allergic to it. It's just the thick and thin of it. There's nothing you can do. It sucks. Same as with a lash lift. Your lashes go through a cycle. Six to eight weeks, they should be fully renewed and your lashes, your lash extensions are gonna fall out with your natural lashes. Sometimes the lashes will shed on their own. Like, it will, maybe it just hasn't had enough glue on it and it'll just flake off. But most of the time you're gonna find a little lash with your little baby lash underneath attached to it. That's nothing to be scared of. It was actually your lash coming out that made that full extension fall out. Or like, you know, you'll find a fan with your lash attached to it. That's what you wanna see because that is your lashes naturally shed and you will lose fat three to five a day. I know that sounds really quite a lot, but that's just, how many you lose. So the difference between lash extensions and a lash lift is you can come in as many times as you want for infills. Usually it's every two weeks, sometimes three weeks, some people do four weeks. So it just depends on how well you can keep them on. The upkeep of lash extensions is a learning curve. You will probably find that you won't 
you won't like them if you wear a lot of heavy makeup and rely on oils to take your makeup off because you're constantly in about them. I mean like with all of this on, I can't wear lash extensions. I just find them too irritating when I'm taking off makeup and stuff like that. Um, if you are somebody who just likes to have mascara on, they could be absolutely perfect for you. My mum makes them last like three to four weeks. Amazing. They're always totally fine on her but I, I just can't make them last at all. I like to rub my eyes. I like to really get in there and clean it and stuff like that. Now that doesn't mean to say that you don't clean them. There are amazing products on the market you can get from any place that you get lash extensions done. Foaming cleansers, even a cleanser that just foams up that you can get in about there and work in at them. Little spoolies, obviously this is an eyebrow one, but spoolies obviously to brush them out every morning and every night. But it's a lot of upkeep so you can actually go in and get them infilled as often as you like really there's no limit because you're isolating every lash that's a new lash you can't isolate to do a lash lift you have to wait and do all of them together so you have to wait for them all to come in normal which is a bit annoying i will say but with a lash extension you have these beautiful lashes you just move the other ones out of the way and put the new one on so that is the massive massive difference is you could actually have lash extensions and they could be constant all the time it'll never look like you need an infill never look like you don't have full full lashes on whereas with a lift you have to get it done let it go back to normal get it done let it go back to normal you have to wait that amount of time otherwise you're going to damage your lashes like i said neither should damage your lashes if you're putting too much not you if your technician is putting too much weight on your lashes it can cause them to prematurely fall out if they are leaving them stuck together or sticking multiple lashes together because they're not isolating it, they can fall out so yeah i think that is pretty much it if i i mean i didn't want to script this video or anything like that i just wanted to talk freely i hope that i've covered most of the information i hope that it's cleared up a couple of little misconceptions and it's given you an idea of what goes into lashes and what the differences now are between lash lift and lash extensions and it puts a little bit of peace of mind into your head as well i'm not going to bore you anymore because you know everything that you need to know if you need if you need to know if you want to know anything else leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer it for you thank you for watching thank you for sticking with me this long if you have if you enjoyed this video obviously i would love it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel any video recommendations are always welcome and i will see you guys in the next video bye